In this video, we're gonna talk about the history of the all clear sneakers. So the most popular comment that I get in all my clear videos, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or even Instagram, is everyone talking about how they used to have like all clear dunks, all clear Jordans back in the day where they were able to get it out of the back of a trunk or something in high school. And there's enough comments going around on all the platforms where it definitely was a thing, but I haven't seen pictures of it. So we're gonna look for it today and see if we could find any old pictures of clear sneakers, or even the evolution of the clear sneaker. But in this video, let's do deep dive and see if we could find those old all clear Jordans and whatever other sneakers that were all clear. I'm going to put this link down below so you guys could see this article as well, but this is on sneakerfreaker.com. This is a history from like the oldest all clear sneakers all the way to the most recent ones and we can see the evolution. Maybe we'll come across some clear Jordans. So coming to the history of the all clear sneakers, I have no idea about it. So this is going to be all new to us. But the first thing that I see is a Nike LDV prototype. Social media report, practice, see through sneakers actually dates back as far as the late 1970s, one of Nike's early success. So I could already tell the problems that Nike had with it. You could tell the creases in the toe as well as the heat warping on the side, on the outside of the foot, as well as the back heel. So it looks like the very first all clear sneaker that came out was in the 1970s, 1980s, and Nike created them. They look very cool, but I could definitely tell where they had their problems with it. So it looks like there's a really big jump from the 1970s, 80s, all the way to 2004, the Espo Nike. Nike Air Force 2. So it looks like this was a collab on a transparent sneaker. The transparency is a side panel, the Nike, and then also the whole front toe. Also the little, uh, so it looks like the very first, you know, official sneaker that they released to the public. I don't know if they released the very first one that we looked at in the 70s and 80s, but it looks like this Espo one was released to the public and it was a collaboration. So that's very cool. I haven't seen this sneaker before. I mean, I'm curious to see what it is on the resale market. So the next sneaker, the third is a Clot Nike Air Max one kiss of death. I'm pretty sure most people know about this sneaker. It was released in 2006 as well as 2021. As 2006 is proof that the clear toe box is not very sneakerhead cup of cha. So the kiss of death, I'm very familiar with this sneaker. I've actually been reached out to a couple people that have this sneaker. The toe started to yellow and they wanted me to refurbish it, to redo it. But I'm very, you know, familiar with this sneaker. I'm not too sure how the hype is nowadays. I know a lot of people liked it at the time when it came out in 2021. For back in 2006, it's a very cool looking sneaker. The clear toe box is not every sneakerhead's cup of cha. So yeah, I could understand a lot of people not wanting the clear toe box just because it shows your socks, but it can, you know, show your personality if you have a really cool pair of socks. So the next one is a Nike Air Force One Premium Invisible Women 2006. So this is a very cool sneaker. We're already, you know, pushing from just the toe all the way to a lot more panels. They got the mid panel as well as a full on toe action. There is quite some notoriety when the Invisible Air Force One released back in 2006 as part of the unofficial Fantastic Four Pack. Fantastic Four Pack. I'm a big nerd for Fantastic Four. I'm a big nerd for Marvel. That's very cool. I, I didn't know about that. Did not know about that. The Espo Air Force Two, which we already looked at, was super rare and only ended up in art and or sneaker collector's hands, but the Invisible Women went much wider into the sneaker sphere, sneaker atmosphere. That's very cool. They, they weren't ready to show off this much sock. The leather was pretty much nice. So was the dry sphere, dry sphere lining. So that's very cool. I actually really like this sneaker and I've seen the blue one around. I have not seen the purple one around, but I really love it. I think that this is a really cool look, you know, playing around with materials as well as that transparent look. I might have to do that in the future. Future. Actually, I probably will. Now, I know the hard part about you working with this, you know, transparent material. It is a pain in the butt. I'm sure, I mean, I don't know how many people have played around with this, but it's definitely, it's a pain in the butt. After this, I'm going to look them all up on GOAT, on, on StockX, and, you know, see how much they go for and if people even like them or not. Countless fake sneakers, see-through Nikes and Jordans. I'm pretty sure this is a whole era that everyone talks about when they comment on all my videos, how they had, you know, clear Jordans in the back trunks of people's cars. But let's take a deep dive and see what they got to say. 2000s were truly a glorious time for fake see-through sneakers. Pretty much every Air Jordan 1 and 14, remember they only retroed the 14 in 2005, had a knockoff clear version that could be picked up for under a hundred bucks. Under a hundred bucks. Oh my 
goodness. In fact, Air Force One collector PG knows prank StockX authenticators in 2019 with a pair of employee issued UPS Air Force Ones with clear toe box. Good time. So I'm pretty sure the UPS ones, if I can find a picture, I'll put them up right here, but I'm pretty sure they were brown as well as transparent and they were kind of the same vibe or even the same, the same colorway or whatnot as the Invisible Woman's. But I think that's really cool. For like the 2000s, I'm pretty sure that's when all the sneakers, like all the fake ones really blew up. And I'm sure back in the day, they couldn't even make a fake pair to look good to save their life. Okay, so here we go. Nike Dunk 2017. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this dunk. I really love this sneaker, especially how they have the transparent on the back touching the foam. So you see that weird foam looking through that transparent material. You got the side panel, also the toe. I love this sneaker. I think it is really cool. And I didn't really know much about this. I've just seen pictures and whatnot. Maybe seeing this in the back of my head, you know, probably gave me some idea of making a fully transparent sneaker. I never really thought anything about this, but it's a very cool sneaker. I'm curious though to see how they are worn, not so much worn, but like how they go over time, whether they crease or not, if they're, they're comfortable or not, especially with like the clear material touching the sock liner up top. And they boldly chose the dunk, especially during its lull period for perhaps it was the balanced black overlays that made these more wearable than previous clear kicks. I definitely agree. These are a lot more wearable than the other clear dunks. Very cool. I love these. I think it's a very cool sneaker. I'd give it, you know, a 10 out of 10. I love, I love the way that they went with this. So the artist's name is Serial Artist, and I found this on Sneaker Freaker. I don't think it's wearable, but this is very cool. I haven't seen this one before. It's an all orange transparent. Let's see, these Air Jelly 1. So that's pretty cool. I think this is a really cool concept, especially how they worked with that sole material. But so far, this is probably like the closest that we got to a fully transparent. Well, actually, it is a fully transparent sneaker. This is even more transparent than my sneaker. He's, he's got the soles going on. Props to Serial Artist, that is very cool. But still, we haven't really found a wearable one, you know, with a full on sole yet. So after an hour of looking throughout the internet, I finally found one thing, and this is for um, Over Under on Twitter in February 14th, 2021. And this is an actual like all clear dunk. This is a really cool sneaker. Nike Dunk Low Pro SB Clear Dunk Prototype. What are your thoughts? And then photo credit to Ant G Soul. So this is a very cool sneaker. I, I'm not too sure if this is real or fake. I'm guessing that this is fake. It says prototype though, but this is very cool. I mean, this is pretty much as close as you're going to get with the sneaker that I created. So unfortunately we didn't find any pictures of the all clear Jordans, but we did find a picture of some dunks, which was very cool. And there was a lot of other sneakers that, you know, incorporating the transparent panels. Now, unfortunately we didn't find any pictures of all clear Jordans. Now, if you do have a picture of them, definitely DM them to me on Instagram or comment down below. Let me know if you have a picture or not. Unfortunately, we didn't find any today. I thought that was very cool. We learned a lot about the transparent stuff, you know, from start to bottom, you know, all back to history in the 70s and 80s. That was an all clear sneaker that Nike made, which was really cool. Now, what sneakers do you want to see in the future made all clear? We got Dunks, we got Jordans, Air Force Ones. Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Also, follow my second TikTok. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Watch this video right here. Bloop.